Hi everyone, today we're going to study the chain rule. If f of u is differentiable at the point u equals g of x, and g of x is differentiable at x, then the composite function f composite g of x equals f of g of x is differentiable at x and f composite g prime of x equals f prime of g x times g prime of x. In words, differentiate the outside function and evaluate it at the inside function left alone. Then, multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Let's have example 1. Differentiate sine of the quantity x squared plus x with respect to x. Let us write the formula for the chain rule. So d over dx of sine of the quantity x squared plus x. We can see here that the sine is the outside function and the polynomial x squared plus x is the inside function. Using the pattern here, we write cosine of the quantity x squared plus x. The derivative of sine is cosine. And we copy the inside function as is. Then multiply by the derivative of this function x squared plus x. That's why we have here 2x plus 1. And the final answer is the quantity 2x plus 1 times the cosine of x squared plus x. Take note that this function here cannot be combined with this function x squared plus x because the 2x plus 1 is a polynomial function while the x squared plus x is the angle for the cosine. This is our final answer. Let us see this example too. Find f composite g prime at x equals 1. Given f of x equals x raised to 6 plus 1 and g of x equals square root of x. For our solution, let us show first that f composite g of x equals f of g of x. Let us substitute the value of g of x in here. So we have now on the right side f of the square root of x. Simplifying this f of square root of x, the square root of x raised to 6 plus 1. We can simplify this expression into x cubed plus 1. This time, we are ready to take the derivative of x cubed plus 1. So the f composite g prime of x equals 3x squared. This is the derivative of this polynomial function. Now, at x equals 1, we can show that f composite g prime of 1. This is equal to 3 times 1 square. This 1 square is simply 1. 1 times 3 is simply 3. This is our final answer. Example 3. Find y prime of y equals the quantity x cubed plus 4x minus 7 all raised to power 6. 
let us write the formula for the chain rule. In here, take note that the outside function is the power function, that power 6. And the inside function is the polynomial function, this trinomial here. So for the derivative, we write like this. We have 6 times the quantity x cubed plus 4x minus 7. This trinomial is now raised to 5 times the derivative of the polynomial function. So we have 3x squared plus 4. This is our final answer. Let us have this example 4. Find the derivative of the function y equals 7 all over the quantity 2 plus 3x all raised to 2. At first, let us rewrite the function as y equals 7 times the quantity 2 plus 3x and this is now raised to negative 2. Then let us write the formula for the chain rule. Let's take note again that the outside function is the power function and the inside function is the polynomial function. Now, for the derivative, we will write like this. This big expression here corresponds to the f prime, while this 3 corresponds to the derivative of the inner function, the g prime. Then let us simplify by multiplying the constants. So we have negative 42 times the quantity 2 plus 3x all raised to negative 3. Let us rationalize the negative exponent. So we have now this negative 42 all over the quantity 2 plus 3x all raised to 3. This is our final answer. Example 5. Find the derivative of f of x equals cosine cube x. We can rewrite the given function as f of x equals the cube of cosine x. Then we write our chain rule. We know that first we are going to take the derivative of the outer function times derivative of the inner function. Note in this example that the outside function is the power function and the inside function is the cosine x. Now, let's get the derivative. f prime of x is now 3 cosine x raised to power 2 times we take derivative of the inside function. So, derivative of cosine x. On the next step, we will show the derivative of cosine x. We copy again the first step and derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Then we simplify our answer as negative 3 sine x cosine square x. Take note that the square of cosine x is now written as cosine square x. Example 6. Find the derivative of f of x equals ln secant x. The outside function here is the ln function, while the inside function is the secant x. Now the derivative. We have now first take the derivative of the outside function. Derivative of ln secant x is 1 over secant x times we go now to derivative of the inside function we are showing here derivative of secant x on the next step we will show the derivative of secant x as secant x tangent x then let us simplify we can see that this secant x can be cancelled with the secant x in the denominator here so finally our answer is tangent x.
Example 7. Find the derivative of y equals e raised to negative 5x times cosine 3x. Note that the function is a product. So, we're going to use the product rule. The first function is the u. Second function is the v. So, dy over dx or derivative equals, we copy the first function, e raised to negative 5x times the derivative of the second function, cosine 3x. Plus, we copy here the cosine 3x times the derivative of the first function. On the first group, we're going to get the derivative of cosine 3x. And we are going to use the chain rule. Same is true with this e raised to negative 5x. Now, for the first group, we have now the e raised to negative 5x. Then the chain rule for cosine 3x, we have the negative sine 3x times later, we will get the derivative of the inside function 3x. So we write like this. Plus the second group. We copy the cosine 3x, then we take the derivative of e raised to negative 5x. And the derivative is the e negative 5x, or we say it is just same, times the derivative of the inside function, and that is the negative 5x. So we write the symbol for derivative here. On the next step, we will now show the derivative of 3x and the derivative of negative 5x respectively. And it becomes like this. From here, we'll just simplify the first group as negative 3 times e raised to negative 5x times the sine 3x minus the second group, 5 times e raised to negative 5x cosine 3x. This is now our answer. In some books, we find a simpler answer as we factor out the negative e raised to negative 5x times the quantity 3 sine 3x plus 5 cosine 3x. Example 8. Find the derivative of f of x equals x square ln 8x. Note that the function is a product, we will use the product rule. The x squared is the first function, the u, the ln 8x is the v. So we have f prime of x equals x squared times derivative of ln 8x. Plus, we copy the ln 8x times derivative of the first function, x squared. In the first group here, we're going to take derivative of ln 8x, where we're going to use the chain rule. So the first group will be x squared times derivative of ln 8x is 1 over 8x times the derivative of the inside function, which is 8x. We will take the derivative on the next step. Plus the second group, we copy the ln 8x times derivative of x squared, it becomes 2x. So for the next step, we will show the derivative of 8x. So we have 8 here. Now we will simplify the first group. We can see that the 8 here can be cancelled with the 8 in the denominator. Also, the x can be cancelled with the x squared. So we cancel 1x to the x squared, so the power 2 becomes power 1. Finally, the answer is, in the first group is x plus, in the second group, the 2x will just put in the front. So it becomes 2x ln of 8x. Example 9. Find the derivative of y equals the quantity tan x plus sine x that is raised to negative 3 power. Note that the outside function is the power function, and the inside function is the sum tan x plus sine x. So, 
dy over dx or derivative equals for the power function negative 3 comes down times tan x plus sin x that is raised to negative 4 so we know that this negative 3 minus 1 so negative 4 times the derivative of the inside function derivative of tan x plus sin x in the next line we will show the derivative of tan x plus derivative of sin x respectively so we have secant square x plus cosine x this is now the final answer example 10 find the derivative of f of x equals tan inverse of the quantity square root of 3 minus x square note that the outside function is the tan inverse function and the inside function is the square root of the quantity 3 minus x square so let's go to taking derivative f prime of x we will take first the derivative of tan inverse so we have 1 over 1 plus the square of the quantity square root of 3 minus x square times the derivative of the inside function and for the square root here we will show that this is a fractional exponent and that is equal to one half so 3 minus x square raised to one half now let us take derivative of the second function or the inside function we have now we copy this fraction as is then derivative of this function we have one half times three minus x square that is raised to negative one half times the derivative of the inside function again the three minus x square on the next step we will copy this fraction and this expression and showing the derivative of three minus x square derivative of three is zero derivative of negative x square is negative 2x and from here let us simplify the radical and the power 2 can be cancelled out the constant 2 here can be cancelled out with the denominator 2 and we simplify further in the first group we have 1 over 1 plus 3 minus x square in the second group we have negative x over the square root of 3 minus x square in the first fraction the 1 plus 3 becomes 4 and we multiply this fraction with the second fraction so final answer negative x all over 4 minus x square times the square root of 3 minus x square